WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 239, NASDAQ off 71, S&Ps off 24 and a half. That's a downdraft of eight tenths of one percent in the Nasdaq, eight tenths of one percent in the Dow Industrials, and six tenths of one percent in the S and P's, folks. Um, that being said, now let me show you something here because the bottom line is that this market not only made it all the way back. Uh, what I expect we're going to see out here Monday or Tuesday is going to go after its highs. Intraday out here, what you did is this: you got into a low, a spike low of thirty-two oh six. Uh, bottom line, you had a counter trend bounce uh, intraday at one o'clock that got you up to 32.46. You're going to close out the day at about 32.45. And guess what? That is right next to the highs, man. The highs out here uh, are 32.61. If we go look, look at the NQs, you're going to see the strength inside the NQs. That's the NASDAQ futures. Same type of setup. They, they took it on the chin on the way down, NQH0. But guess what? They clawed their way all the way back. Uh, we, we take a look at this. The low out here was 87.35. Uh, bottom line, we're about 90 points over that at the close, 88.10. And what I expect we're going to see out here, you're going to see another test of the high inside the NDX, which is 89.01. If we bring that over to the end, the three Qs, uh, you're going to see the three Qs were down $1.98. Uh, they closed at 214. I do expect we're going to go test that 216, 36, uh, 216, 16 one more time. Because what we did have is that you took that out on the daily basis with volume, on the weekly basis with volume in both cases. So that baby wants to get tested. Notes and bonds just continue to want higher price, lower yield. This is pretty amazing. Uh, you know, we're at all time highs, bottom line. The note and bond market would not give it up. Uh, you had the 10-year break the downtrend that hasn't been in place since uh, last September. The 10-year now is at 129.12. Guess what? That wants to go to 132. If we take a look at the yield right now on the 10-year, talk about some volatility this week. We've had some good volatility. You're at 1.79. I expect we're going to be going down to 1.69. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit us Monday morning. Larry Pesavento kicks us off 9 o'clock. Great show. Have a great one, folks. TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content.